Hi, welcome to my channel. Today I want to show you how I made this cute tree stamp fairy house. I use the glass jar and I make a cardboard circle to close the jar. So I use some aluminium foil to make the bottom of the jar wider and kind of look like the root of the tree stump. Then I cut out a cardboard like a zigzag pattern to make the barks of the wood stump. Now I use some homemade hydroid clay um, to cover up the whole tree stump. This clay I made by myself. And if you want me to show you how I made this air dry clay or cold porcelain, you can comment below and I will make a tutorial video. I used some white glue to make the clay stick better to the glass jar and just continue the process to covering up the whole entire tree stump with some air dry clay. And then later I will make some grooves so the clay looks more realistic and have some texture. So I thought in this video I don't have to explain so much because it's basically me showing you how I did this um, fairy house. So I decided I want to tell you a story so the process won't be so boring. And I wanted to tell you the story of my first daughter. She is 6 years old right now and about to lose her tooth. She didn't lose any tooth, tooth right now. And I told her that there is a tooth fairy and at the beginning she didn't believe it and said that's impossible fairies doesn't exist and things like that and I really wanted her to have the cute imagination about fairies I don't I know it's not good to lie as parent but I think it's a lie that it's very enjoyable and it's just cute and yeah they might be disappointed if they some someday find out that fairies don't exist but for now and as a child I think it's so cute and that's why I'm making this fairy houses and because I'm so excited I love fairies and fairy theme stuff and my daughter likes it too so um, as I start to make this fairy house she was asking is it for the tooth fairy and I said yeah if she come to visit us she can stay in that house for a while and then she said you have to make the door be able being able to open and I said it's not important and uh, she said so how can the fairy come inside the door and I said um, they can um, fly through walls and she said like a ghost yeah kind of so but ghosts aren't visible so are fairies not visible and I said they can decide even e either they want to be seen or not and she's very skeptical and oh, I, the story how she starts to be, to believe me that fairies exist is actually because um, I showed her a video and, and that video was a boy that who doesn't believe about truth fairies and as he um, lost his tooth he set up some cameras to catch the fairy if it's really it's if the fairy is real and then the father edited the footage and put a um, um, CGI fairy in the footage um, and then she saw it and saw the fairy really come through the window and took the tooth and then she ta starts to believe me that the fairies really exist and as I told her this that fairies can go through the walls she was like is it true I saw the video she was going through the window and she was visible not invisible 
and i'm like yeah they they can choose what they want to do the, either they want to go through the windows or won't be seen or not it's their choice and then about the house she says after the house was finished you don't have anything in the house and like it's not important so how will the fairy living in that house she will be angry there's nothing nothing in there and i said yeah she can bring her own stuff and it was just so cute about her like yeah it's just so cute how she likes the fairies and i will continue to make fairy stuff um i plan to make a fairy garden out of this fairy house and maybe that will be a future video thanks for listening to my story So here I made some leaves out of the silicone molds and the silicone molds actually I did it by myself either. So if you want um, me to show you how I made the silicone molds you can just comment below. I made them actually for resin but I thought it's really nice for clay either so I don't have to make the leaves one by one.
and now I started to paint my tree with some acrylic paint um, I thought it works the best for this project and it was a very long process and I lost some footage of me painting the leaves and the rocks I'm very sorry for that but yeah enjoy the process And at the end I cut it off the mica base so it has the shape of the tree stamp. And that's the whole process. I hope you really enjoy it and like, comment and subscribe if you enjoy my video and stay tuned for the next video. Thank you, goodbye!